Hello everyone. In this video, we are demonstrating implementing IoT device gateway pattern and edge analytics using Android TV. For the backend, I am using WS2 IoT server and it is already running on my computer right now. So let's look at the overview. In here you can see that WS2 IoT server is deployed in there and I do have a next box Android TV device which is connected over the Wi-Fi uh, with the IoT server and also there are XD dongle attached with the Android TV device and it is communicating wirelessly with Arduino with XD sheet. So with that Arduino device I do have relay module connected and there are multiple devices can be attached to each relay unit that available with the component. So basically this is a wireless communication between the gateway device and the edge devices. Uh, in here we do have SIGB communication over SIGB Explorer and the Arduino XD sheet. And with that single Arduino XD sheet we do have multiple devices attached with the relay module and the Arduino hardware. In that way we are simulating multiple edge devices through a single uh, SIGB machine which is attached to a Arduino device. So in another way we can use multiple SIGB devices connected with the Android TV gateway and through that we can have multiple edge devices. In that case we do have multiple communication modules as well as multiple edge devices along with each module. If I go to here you can see that in IoT server we can write custom UI experience in order to control both Android TV device as well as the edge devices which is connected over the SIGB. If we go to the setup, you can see that my TV box is here. I have attached my SIGB dongle into this TV box and it is connected over the USB. And in here I do have a hardware setup which is act as a edge device. So in this setup I do have SIGB module connected into the Arduino shield and I do have DH11 temperature and humidity sensor, LED indicator and relay module. By assuming this setup is deployed in a room, I have defined two switches in order to simulate status of the window as well as status of the AC. If I turn this switch into zero side that means the window is closed otherwise it is open so as same as the window switch the AC switch is has two positions if it is in the off position that means AC is not operating and if it is in the on position that means AC is now operating okay here's the my TV screen which is working on my room so I'm starting the agent which is deployed in this TV gateway already. So if I open that agent you can see that login screen is prompting and I can sign into this TV gateway agent and enroll with the WS2 IoT server which is running on my computer. So it is successfully registered and if I go to the server console I can see the enrolled device in there. So let me login into the console. Under the devices section, you can see there are two devices. One is already removed device and this is active device is the one which I have recently enrolled. Let's go into the device view. So in this device view, you can see that operations are listing in here. But still, I can't see any edge device enrolled in there because I haven't configured any edge devices. So let's add an edge device first. So I'm clicking add edge device button and I'm naming it as H1. In order to enroll this device, I need to provide serial number of the CB module. And I'm entering that serial number into here. And clicking that send device button in order to enroll this device. So you can see that operation is triggered and now 
I can see this H device. As soon as I have enrolled the H device, you can see that temperature and humidity readings are sending into the server and it is displayed on this graph. And also I can send some commands into the device by saying turn on the LED, turn off the LED or turn on relay modules. So let's send a simple command to the device. So this command will turn on the LED in the hardware device. So as you can see that command is first sent to the gateway device and then as gateway device holds the map of edge devices connected with it, it is mapping the correct edge device and sending that command into the edge device. In that way, the gateway acts as a middle device which receives the original request from the server and distributed that into the edge device. Okay, let's turn off the LED again. Okay, as this is showing the temperature humidity light, I can also turn on the AC and see the results in this graph. In here, you can see that it's now showing that AC is turned on. In the same way, I can open the window and it will display in this graph the results. Now you can see window is open now. In this demo you may notice that this edge device is continuously sending its data into the server. But as this gateway device might have some intelligence, we can process those incoming data and send any changes into the server if needed. In order to do that, we do have analytics capabilities embedded into the edge device. If we take the agent implementation in the edge, uh, gateway device, you can see that that a Android agent does have SIGD capabilities. We can simply get event streams and process them using the edge of the SIGD engine. So by doing so, we can apply uh, CDP rules in order to up incoming event streams and manipulate device hardware as needed. This CD query is already running in the edge gateway by default. In this query, we are just gathering all the temperature, humidity, light, window, AC status, and they are directly publishing into the server using these individual output streams. We are not processing any data right here. But if I go to this query, you, you can see that I am gathering all these sensor inputs here, but I do have some processing there in order to filter out event and define what event should be published into the server side. If I see that, if I explain that, you can see that I am detecting whether AC state is changed. If that AC state is changed, we are publishing that event. Otherwise, we are not publishing any event in there. And also, we have applied same logic into the humidity, temperature, window, light streams. So, this might not publish event in some cases if there is no any event occurring in the device side. In order to eliminate that, I have time batch introduced in here in order to publish events in every 30 seconds even there's no any event change happening in there so in that way we are publishing temperature in every 30 seconds to the server even though temperature value is same so in here you can see that i have a very specific logic in order to monitor window is open and the ac is turned on to state if window is open and AC is turned on, I am going to display a message in the TV screen by saying please turn off the AC or close the window. So that kind of manipulation can be done with power of edge analytics. So I am copying that CD query and going to send it to the Android TV gateway. I can send it by using edge analytics button. Now 
I have sent my city query to gateway device in order to deploy in there and execute that query to minimize the data load that sending into the server. So as I have enabled the SIG query, I can turn on the AC as well as open the window in order to detect that alert condition. As I have turned on the AC and open up the window, it may display me that please turn off the AC or close the window message in the TV screen. In that way, user can be notified in order to turn off AC or close the window in order to save the energy. So once I turn off mode, then the message is no longer displayed in here. So in here, if I go to there, you can see that AC state is displaying in here and it turned on and turned off cycles are displaying in here. Also, the window states and its events are in the states and its opening and closing sessions are showing in here. In addition to those edge capabilities, this TV gateway is supporting to send messages, send videos, or configure TV gateway in order to facilitate different TV configurations. So, if I send a message to the TV like this, it will display in the TV screen as a message. In the same way, I can send a video to the TV screen and it will be played in the device screen. You can see that it is video and up and it is playing. Hi, I'm Sumedha Rubasi. So in that way, we can manage both gateway device as well as edge devices to IoT server and we can have edge devices as we need it and we can configure different communication protocols and strategies based on our requirement using that kind of implementation. Thank you very much for joining me in this session. Goodbye.